Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine and I hope you all are safe and I welcome you to a fresh, amazing and bang on episode of Vehiclopedia. So friends, before going further into the video, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon near to it so that you won't miss any of my notifications of my upcoming videos. And if you have any suggestions, don't forget to comment down in the comment section. So friends, if you have seen my previous video, then you must be knowing that usually I made video on cars. But this time I have decided to make a video on a bike. And it's not a normal bike friends, it's an electric bike and uh, it's an Indian made electric bike. So this is very interesting and uh, don't skip this video, watch this till the end and if you like this video then uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, so without wasting any time, let's get started to our video. So friends, as you have seen the thumbnail and the title of my video, you must be knowing which bike it is. But still if I have to say then th this is made by an Indian electric startup company which is Aether Electric. And friends as you know, Aether is Bangalore based Indian company. So friends, you must have heard this name of uh, Aether Electric friends and uh, as you have seen from last couple of years, they are making some cool uh, electric bikes which are at affordable range, gives the best performance at that price point and a normal consumer can easily afford that bike at that price point and they can uh, easily maintain it uh, for next 5 to 10 years. So friends, as I said earlier, uh, Aether has launched two of their e-bikes in India, which is Aether 450 and Aether 450X. Both of the bikes come at a good price, but for some people, that price might not be much affordable. But since as we know that uh, world is moving towards electric uh, vehicles, so these bikes at that price point is quite uh, cheap if you compare from other uh, automobile company. So friends, if we talk about this bike, then you must all be wondering about uh, how it is different from other bikes which is available in the market and which is going to be launched soon in the market. So if we talk about this bike, this bike is designed as a cruiser electric bike. Uh, as you have seen, most of the Indian automobile, Indian two-wheeler automobile companies, they are not launching uh, cruiser-based electric bike. But friends, as you can see, most of the bikes which companies are launching in the market, I'm talking about electric bike friends, good specifications, but the design, the design is not up to the mark. And uh, I'm not talking about all the bikes. And friends, it is claimed as that this bike is going to come as a rival of an upcoming bike which is electric TVS Zeppelin. So friends as I said TVS Zeppelin is also an electric based uh, bike and also this is a cruiser based design. So this is going to be its direct rival and it is uh, it is going to be interesting to see the, both of the bikes competing with each other. So friends if I have to say something about the design of this bike. As you can see in this picture, uh, the bike along with its siblings, the design has been given in the typical white, green, black theme. As you know that this is the official theme of Aether Electric and as you can see the previous model of the Aether Electric, this is the official theme of this company and uh, so friends if we talk about the design that it is claimed by the Aether that however this is based on shark based design and uh, as you can see uh, interestingly even the aesthetics of Mahindra Marazo are also inspired from the uh, shark based design but it is clear that the concept motorcycle looks far more interesting than the latest MPV of Mahindra which is Marazzo if we keep it side by side and friends as you can see in this picture the Aether Electric Cruiser motorcycle concept looks very modern but the designer has ensured that the two wheeler offers a relaxed riding posture typical of traditional cruisers but basically they have uh, maintained the modern look along with the comfort postures and uh, the ergonomics along with the silent operation of the electric motor should reduce the rider fatigue by some uh, margin uh, so friends since it is uh, it is going to be run on a electric motor and a battery so basically there is no vibrations out there in the bike so if you compare it from a petrol engine bike this will keep you more relaxed while riding the bike and uh, it will not make you to feel fatigue also but at some margin friends so friends, if I have to say some styling highlights of this bike, then Aether Electric Cruiser Motorcycle features a huge windshield that even acts as a headlamp fairing, as you can see in the front of the bike, and it has concealed front forks, star pattern alloy wheels, and the curved electric motor. As you can see friends, this is not a naked bike, this is fully covered bike. As you can see, most of the electric bikes are mostly covered, since it has nothing to show in that, inside this kind of bikes, you can only able to see the electric motor and the battery. And the other features which uh, which this bike includes is a twin seat setup, monoshock is also included in this bike, disc brakes, 
on both the wheels and a phone dock. So basically this bike comes with all these features and friends if I have to talk about the phone dock which is available in this bike is that that a phone dock is nothing but a compartment on the traditional tank that houses and wirelessly charges a smartphone while an externally screen mirror its display and as you know that in most of the other Aether electric bikes we, you get to see a full view electric display along with the digital controls in this bike also you will get to see the instrument console with uh, which is similar with the fully loaded uh, unit screen as you can see it is familiar in the Acer products friends now i have to mention you one thing about this bike see friends this is a concept based design but Acer has planned to enter the market with a new electric bike and even the designer has also stated that the complete bike is is designed based on its personal visualization Friends, uh, designers are also mentioned that in the practical usage the bikes would uh, won't come with uh, the similar uh, features which uh, i have uh, mentioned you earlier but friends if they ask us then actually we won't really mind about uh, having a neo cruiser motorcycle from the Aether electric but friends i totally wish that this uh, concept uh, gets uh, noticed by the company and the concept is pushed to the production also so friends i am really hoping to see this bike available in the uh, real market and uh, i want to see this bike running on the roads because the looks of this bike is quite uh, impressive so friends if you have not seen my previous video then i'll put the videos on the i section you you can go there and you can watch the videos from there did you like this bike or not please do comment down in the comment section and and tell me about your thoughts what you are thinking about this bike and uh, if you have any queries then don't forget to ask me in the comment box also so friends in the design area as i mentioned about the uh, phone dock as you can see in this picture the display screen on the tank is also phone, uh, also has a phone dock it has built in uh, wireless charger for the mobile phone once the phone is uh, docked inside its screen is mirrored on the screen on the bike thereby allowing the user access many of the phones function with uh, without taking it out you can see the map also you can see who is calling uh, you can uh, look for the notifications and you can even reply from the console of the bike itself so friends if we talk about the specification of the motor of this bike so basically this is a concept design so they have not mentioned about any type of motor which uh, they are going to use in this bike but if we talk about the price they have also not mentioned the price also because uh, because as i said earlier this is a concept based design and uh, i'm really hoping that this design should get approved from the ather and it uh, it should get uh, pushed towards the production so that we can really able to see this bike uh, in the real market but if you ask me the price that what should be its expected price then it would be around the price of tvs zeppelin similar to the tvs zeppelin because it's going to come as a rival it will come more towards uh, 1.5 lakhs to 2.5 lakhs around uh, i am not sure also because this time i also didn't know about this price but i am expecting so friends if you ask me about the battery then i think it will come with a li uh, lithium ion battery so friends now i will show you the pictures of this bike which is presented by the designer as you can see in these pictures this is the front view of the bike as you can see it has a shark uh, shark fin design and this is the side view of the bike along with its siblings <laughs> and uh, this is some rendered design from the designer basically the first two design look similar to the ktm duo and i think so rear bike will also come like this only i like the alloys of the bike and uh, as you can see from the back this bike is looking very good and uh, on the tank as you can see the phone dock so friends that's all for today's video did you like this bike or not do tell me in the comment section and uh, if you like this video then uh, don't forget to hit the like button and if you are new to my channel then uh, please friends uh, don't forget to press the subscribe button along with the bell icon so that you won't miss any of the notifications of my upcoming videos and must share this video with your friends also so that they also get to know about this bike so thanks a lot for watching be safe and i'll see you in my next video